it's a big number like uh, approximately 60000 people every year that means 5000 every month that means 170 people every day Hey everybody, welcome to Traveling On The Go. Hope you're having a great day. In this episode right here, I'm gonna take you to a country around 15 hours away by plane. Now this is a real story that's going on right there. Over 50,000 people on average per year are dying from one predator over there. So I'm also gonna do a collaboration with a person in this other country. Then I'm gonna come back here, right here to North Carolina and show you what's going on here. And then I'm going to take you over to Thailand where I'm going to go into a special enclosure and farm. I'm not going to give too many other details, but let's get a move on. We got a lot to get to. Let's go. So where is this all happening? 8,000 miles from my home here in North Carolina is the country of India. Now India is the second biggest population in the world. It is the seventh largest country in the world. It has amazing history, even more significance in religion, and the wildlife is iconic. This amazing country was established in 1947 and it has a total population of 1.3 billion. India has a rural population that was reported at 65% in 2020 and it makes it the largest rural population in the world. Animal attacks are happening in India yearly basically because the loss of habitat the increasing population. So the dilemma continues to happen to this day. Now, before we talk about this elusive predator, let's look at other animals in India and see how many human deaths each claim per year. Let's take a look. So which species of animal is actually responsible for over 58,000 deaths a year? Answer right here, venomous snakes. Three main types actually are attacking most of the people, mainly in self-defense, crates, cobras, and the Russell Viper make up the majority of deaths in India. A BBC article from 2021 titled The Global Fight Against Snake Bites looked at India's snake bite problem stating out of the 4.5 million people bitten, 2.7 million who survived the bites were left seriously injured. Half of the total snake bite deaths worldwide happen in India. So that means there is somewhere there is a deficiency of awareness of how to protect yourself. Mm. So, so that uh, lack of awareness and then 
of going quickly to the hospital and not to the and, and not to the local healers. Whereas wherever you have had a poisonous snake, every minute lost is a life lost. India's snake bite problem comes from a variety of factors. First, poverty and the lack of proper housing. Two, many of the victims in the past went right to a spiritual healer. Three, the people have limited education and information about deadly snakes. Four, a lack of first aid facilities and enough anti-venom. Five, most Indians are living in remote areas. Hey. So welcome back here to North Carolina. I'm not far from Charlotte. Now surprising for myself really to look all this up, North Carolina is the number one state in the United States for snake bites. And that is basically due to the climate, the surroundings here, dense vegetation, and so much more. I was shocked to learn that. It's important to state here that the majority of snakes are not aggressive and provide an important part to the ecosystem in nature. If you look at the stats right here, each year 7,000 to 8,000 people are bitten in the U.S. and about five of those people die every year. Even more interesting, the chances of dying from a snake bite in the U.S., is quite rare, especially when lightning strikes and honeybee strikes kill 20 times more people annually than all the snake bites combined in the US. So today, here's the objective. I'm going to be five feet away from a live cobra. There's going to be maybe a wall or not a wall in front of me. I really don't know. That's the challenge. I got to do it. Let's go. So here's the snake farm right here. You can see from Monday to Friday, it's open from 9.30 to 3.30. All right, so I got some facts for you here. In the world, there's 3,400 species of snake. In Thailand here, they have 200 species of snake. Out of those 200, 36 are poisonous. Now, some are more poisonous than others, so if you get bit, you have different chances of surviving. Now, compare that to America. We have 50 snake species that are uh, in the country. Out of that, 21 are poisonous. And then I read out of those 21, 11 are deadlier. So just some facts for you. Oh, if you want to look at Australia, I got some buddies from Australia. They have 140 snake species. Out of those, 100 are poisonous. You can believe that. And again, it, de it depends on the degree of poison. So not all of them are probably fatal, but still, those are pretty high numbers. It's about 71% right there in Australia. All right, we're gonna head to the auditorium right here to watch the venom extraction. Should be really interesting here.
is produced is you have the snakes, you harvest the venom from the snakes, then you inject the, that venom in a titrated manner into the horses, then it takes about 18 months of repeated immunization, repeated injection to produce uh, enough anti-venom concentration inside the horse uh, blood. That blood is then harvested from that, the venom is taken out and that forms the anti-snake venom serum. So, so that is. Now there is of course a newer method which is coming which is uh, developed by IIT Delhi in association with the uh, with a university in San Jose in USA. So there will be there will be a synthetic peptide which will act as the anti-snake venom. So so that will be available soon. In a country like India, we are we are a very fortunate people. We live in India where anti-snake venom serum is available for say 500 rupees a vial and one person needs four to five vials. It is produced in India and therefore it is widely available. Of course, in, this, in remote rural areas, there might be places where it may not may, may run out of stock sometimes, or, or people may not be aware enough to keep it there, to stock it there. Otherwise, uh, most of the places nowadays, the availability is uh, really good. It has been good in the last 20, 30 years as well. Okay. The, 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 the major cities, the towns, the government hospitals, the private hospitals, they're all well stocked, the pharmacies are well stocked. So there is, uh, the stock is usually always uh, available in India. Compare this 500 rupees to uh, to like about 2 lakh rupees for one vial in the United States. So in the United States it is like $3,000 for one vial, um, $2,000 in a vial and for 4 vials or 5 vials about nine to $10,000 that means that means about 7 to 8 lakh rupees. In India, that total treatment costs about 2,000, 3,000 rupees, the, the cost of injection. เอเชียเราเฉ่งตาและฟังส่วนของประเทศจีนคุณน้อยยินงูค่ะเล็กเป็นอาหารนะครับเราก็เลยเรียกชื่อเขาอย่างนึงว่าเป็นงูกินงู
Uh, these guys are professional snake handlers. Two, they're gonna give you a lot of education about snakes, even the venomous ones right there. Um, three, it's 200 baht, which is like $6. You can come in here, you can actually come over here, get a cup of coffee if you want, kind of relax. There are two times for the shows, just remember, 11 o'clock, snake venom extraction, 2.30, the snake show where they give you a lot more information. Hey everybody, so that's gonna wrap it up. I wanna give a special thanks to Dr. Lokesh Abral, also over at Imaginations Pictures. Those two people that did the interview for me, they just wanted to go by their company name. They did an amazing job, I really appreciate it. So I am out of here. I will see you guys next time. Uh, please be sure to check out my other videos, especially the 14 day challenge, which was my previous video. And I got a lot more to come. So I will get going. Take care, guys. See ya. I don't want to save ya. Don't want to be strangers. Let me feel like you know what to do. Leave your limitations. Live and go against them. Just let go and start up something new. Cause I know, I know, I know the board you planned out. Everything that you built up isn't what you want. And I know, I know, I know the life you're living isn't that fulfilling. Let me help you out. Lay your love on me. Leave your head and let your mind be free. Save yourself and leave.